I want y'all to give a big UT welcome to Coach Conzo Martin. This is one of the best in the country. I don't think you can find anyone better as far as the resources and the tradition that you have here in Tennessee and the support. The support is tremendous. And I think when you have administrative support and you have the resources and the facilities to be successful, I think you can do anything special. And I think that is one of the main reasons why I wanted to be here. Because I think at the end of the day, I think you have a great chance here at Tennessee to be the last team standing. You got to get those right guys. You got to find your leaders and make those guys understand what you're trying to do. And more importantly, have to say what you say in the locker room. So when we finish saying some as a staff, your leaders have to say the same thing in the locker room because what happens when you have tough times and every player goes through, I did it as a player under Coach Katie and I was a captain as a sophomore, but I still complain. But I knew at the end of the day what Coach is saying we had to do it. So you have to find one or two guys uh, on your team, make those guys understand. Whatever I'm saying, you got to repeat it, whether you're at a warning guy's house on Saturday night, Friday night, hanging out, say what I'm saying because what happens now is passed down. Now you got tradition, now you become history. And that's what it's about, it's passed down. And unfortunately, right now, every guy is new. Even though you have Cameron Tatum who's a scene, he's still new because he's trying to figure out my style. Everybody has an advantage coming in. So as a freshman, you have an opportunity to be a leader. You have an opportunity to be a starter. It doesn't matter whether you're a freshman or a senior. You've got to earn your way. Since you can't be with the team this summer, how do you spend your time? How do you get adjusted to players when you can't be around them? Well, I think it's more the players adjusting to you. So, I mean, this is, uh, and I think that's one of the things we, I think we have to make clear here. <laughs> And I, I don't want to sound like I'm some prison warden or something. Like <laughs> but, but it's the right and wrong. It's the way you do things. You know, a lot of times people say leadership is born or it's either in you or you can develop. But I just think growing up in these St. Louis, the things I've went through and the things I've seen uh, in my lifetime, uh, and just some of the things I, you know, you don't even... I can't even imagine that I actually went through it at 16, 17 years old, things that I witnessed. You know, my fight through cancer, which that was later, uh, and my college, I mean, my life. I just think it's who you are, and I have to give the credit to my mom, Boy Jeanette, because she developed me, and she pushed me, and she always said, dream big, don't worry about the current circumstances. And what I try to teach our players all the time, this, this is just a ball game. I, mean, I know the stakes are high, you're in a great league, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's just a ball game. So. And me going back to Joplin, maybe that's God's way of saying slow down, telling me to slow down a little bit because we've been moving so fast. Uh, the guys that the staff is spending, you know, two or three o'clock in the morning in the office, uh, I think they work, you know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> you know but, and you're just, you're just going and going and going because you're trying to be the best. And it's at some point you have to slow down and, and take a look around.